Good morning, how are we doing? I just made myself a little matcha because I try to drink my first coffee when I get to WeWork because um, otherwise it's just a bit too much if I have one at home and then one when I get to work so matcha it is and I also made myself um, some oatmeal oh, I think it's just like a really nice breakfast in the winter and um, keeps me full for quite a while and I put quite a lot of honey in it because I like it ooh, like it quite sweet <laughs> so lots of honey in there I'm really tired to be honest I haven't slept so well but we need to power through today is a busy day I have a lot to do at work and I'm going to the office today so I'm gonna take you with and yeah it's just another day in my life cheers by the way, I just used my last matcha powder for this. So if you're in the UK, can you recommend a brand to buy this from? Let me know, because I'm not quite sure what to buy next. I got this in Germany, so now I need like a UK matcha brand. That's nice. So if you know anything, let me know, please.
Hello! I haven't spoken to you today because I had a really busy day. <laughs> I know that's what everyone always says, but it's actually true. I had so much to do at work because my colleague that's doing the same job as me is currently on holiday. Well deserved, but yeah, it just means that I have to basically cover for him as well and yeah, it was just a bit of a mad day, to be honest. Lots of calls and lots of things to do. We are running two campaigns at the same time right now, which isn't helping, so yeah. I was also on holiday for two weeks because um, I was actually in Sri Lanka. And while I was gone, obviously everything that I usually do kind of piled up and all my emails and all that kind of stuff. So I just had a, had a lot to do this week and last week. After work, I went to a really nice workout. It's called Robots, but like R O W, like rowing, like a rowing machine. Um, it was really fun. It's kind of like Barry's boot camp, one rebel kind of vibe. So you're like on a rowing machine. And then you do weights and then you're like rowing again, you're doing weights. Um, I really enjoyed that. So highly recommend if you're in London. And in general, I can really recommend working out after work because I had a really stressful day today and I was kind of like full of adrenaline. And I think like just my cortisol level must have been <laughs> through the roof because I was really stressed when I left work. And then I went to my workout and worked out and now I feel a lot better, so yeah i feel way more relaxed and that's why i like working out um after work because it kind of calms you down um and like levels you again especially like your stress level and all that and i'm sure i'll be able to sleep tonight which is always a big plus um so yeah, if you're really stressed out at work maybe try working out after work that helps me Anyway, I'm starving, I'm so, so hungry, so I'm gonna cook. Um, I picked some bits up to make a bean soup. It's like a Mexican bean stew kind of thing. I'm really on the Mexican vibe today. I also had a burrito for lunch. But yeah, so I'm making a little soup. And then I also picked some things up to make a little dessert, which I saw on TikTok. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. So it's like a date, peanut, chocolate kind of, situation but I'll show you Soup is ready. I topped it with some avocado, cheese, coriander, and I also have some tortilla chips because we be rude not to, right? I'm watching Married at First Sight Australia. <laughs> New season. I'm so mm. excited. I love trash chili, so. So nice. I'm so excited to try the dessert as well. But first my soup. This has been in the fridge for like an hour now and it should be set. So let's try. I'm so excited. It's like a little, um, oh shit. Oh God. <laughs> it's like a little healthy Snickers version. All right, let me cut this off camera. You're making me nervous. <laughs> okay, so I've managed to cut it. And this is what it looks like. So, got the layer of dates, peanuts, and the chocolate. I'm gonna chat it this way because the dates are a little bit fragile on the bottom. Let's try it. Mm. 
Mmm. That's so nice. It doesn't taste like a Snickers, obviously, but <laughs> it comes close though. It's definitely like a healthy, healthier version of a Snickers. I would say that I maybe I used a bit too much chocolate. Chocolate bottom is way thicker than the dates, which to be honest, I don't really mind, but I think if you use less chocolate, the balance will be a bit better. But overall, I would say this is really good. Maybe I've just followed the recipe <laughs> that I saw on TikTok. I freestyled a little bit. But this is really good, taste-wise. And also the dates. I think I should have meshed the dates a lot better. Um, because you can definitely still see it's like some <laughs> here, <laughs> like some whole dates in there. So I maybe should have just mashed it a bit better. But guys, I'll be honest, this is really good. Yeah. I will link the recipe that I saw down below and you can recreate this and maybe yours looks a bit nicer than mine. <laughs> but it tastes really good. So I'm gonna enjoy this.